Hi everybody, today we're talking about the importance of physical health and fitness. We all know it's true, but I've got some practical tips that are gonna help you to get started. If we haven't met yet, my name is Andrew. For nearly 30 years, I've had the privilege of helping people from all walks of life, training them, mentoring them, and that's what this channel is all about, helping men to become the best that they can become. Let's go to today's episode now. Now we are talking about our physical health and fitness. Now a lot of this stuff that I'm gonna to say today, you possibly have heard before in snippets or in whole part, I don't know. My role here is to try and encourage you and boost you and maybe share a little of my own experience about how this one has been a huge help for me. So let's get into health and fitness. Hopefully you haven't already switched off because you are feeling discouraged about that. Maybe you're already fit, great. Maybe you're already doing a good job with your physical health. Awesome, keep it going, it's so vital. Maybe you're like many middle-aged men and you're struggling with your health and fitness because of everything we've already talked about so far. The pressure, all the responsibilities, it's not easy, I get it. But if you can take step one and step two and step three and start to get some momentum with this one happening, it's gonna do you the world of good and everybody around you is gonna benefit. Let's hit the big five issues when it comes to physical health and fitness and why they're so important to your mental health. The first one is really straightforward, is food. We need to be smarter as middle-aged men about our food. I get the idea that we all have our comfort foods. Maybe for you it's pasta, it could be pizza, it could be the sweet treats, it could be the savouries, who knows. We just gotta make some smarter decisions. We're not as young as we used to be, our body doesn't recover as well as it once did. This is why sometimes men are going out and thinking they can run around in the backyard with their kids playing football and they pull a hamstring or something like that. We are not at the same peak level of strength that we used to be in some regards. Our food is so important. And so that's crucial that we start to get a love for the right diet. Number two that we've got to get into is watching what goes on with our sleep. As we get older, our sleep needs change but one thing that doesn't change is the need for sleep hygiene. What we mean by sleep hygiene is trying to get to bed at roughly the same time, trying to wake up at roughly the same time, not having too much screen light in our face just before we go to bed, not eating junky treats just before we go to bed. Sleep is so crucial to your mental health. Nobody in the world does better as a result of a lack of sleep, in fact, the opposite is true, that sleep deprivation is one of the leading causes of mental health that's already poor becoming poorer. And so we've got to commit to sleep hygiene. I don't know if you've heard that phrase before, maybe you have, but it literally means what it sounds like, cleaning up our act when it comes to our relationship with sleep and really prioritizing it. When we get that sleep, our energy is boosted, our perspective is better and everything is impacted in a positive way when we get on top of our sleep. The third one that we wanna talk about with physical health and fitness is exercise. Now, I get it, some people hate exercise. However, your family and your friends want you around as long as possible. We as men cannot afford to allow ourselves to become heavily overweight, super stiff, crotchety, unable to do the things with our children that we'd love to do. Exercise is one of the greatest things that we can do, not just for our body, but the, for the way that it impacts our mental health. I know for me over the years, even though I've lived a very busy and quite high pressured last 25 to 30 years in my vocation, I am always at my best when I'm exercising. I went through a lengthy period of time and I shared this story on a recent episode. I went through a lengthy period of time where I was competing in triathlon events and really loving the sense of conquest and competition uh, in that space and the incredible impact that that had on my mental health, my energy, my perspective and my well-being was amazing. It really doesn't matter whether you start with walking, whether you get in a swimming pool, whether you go mountain biking with a friend, movement is what we're talking about. And as we get older, the importance of lifting some weight, physical, literal weight is crucial for us maintaining the health that we wanna maintain. I would suggest that the exercise thing should be done in context with other friends as much as possible. Make it a shared journey and getting that sense of strength physically 
will boost you immensely in your headspace. Number four is screen time. In the same way we try to urge our children not to have too much, the same is true for us. When we get into screen time overload, typically we get into idle spaces in our mind, we begin to doom scroll on our phones, we begin getting distracted and we find that we get this really uh, out of balance relationship with the dopamine release in our brain. We keep on refreshing our screens because we're looking for that next uh, volume of data to come to us and hopefully something exciting shows up on our screen in front of our face. That's a really unhealthy relationship for us to have with our screens. We wanna be in control of it, not have it in control of us. And that's really what I'm getting at here. I'm not trying to take the place of being anybody's parent. I know that's not my place. My place is to encourage you that you be the master of your screens. Don't let your screens be the master of you. Number five, daylight. We gotta get outside in the sun. Now, depending where you live in the world, not so easy for some of you. But when we can, where we can, we need to get outside, walk around the block where we live, bit of fresh air, bit of daylight, bit of sunlight. There is so much data and case studies available online to show the positive impact of getting that daylight into our eyeballs as early as possible in the day, which does have a scientifically proven positive impact on our mental health and our perspective about the world in which we live Daylight will do you wonders. I wanna urge you to get on board physical health and fitness as it pertains to your mental health without a shadow of a doubt. If you can boost the physical health, the mental health will come with it and you'll start to get momentum, you'll start to experience traction and it's amazing how when physical health lifts, mental health goes with it and then suddenly our perspective on our own life and the world around us is boosted and we get hope and we get new momentum and new energy to believe that our tomorrow can be better than today. I'd love it if you could subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. I know that we're dealing with a fairly simplistic subject in today's episode, but throughout this mini series, we are dealing with some nuanced ideas as well about how to boost our mental health. If you subscribe to the channel, you get the notifications. I'd love you to leave a comment as well or ask a question and make sure that you hang around for each new episode in the mini series. I'd love you to hang out and be ready for the next one, which is coming up real soon. We're gonna be talking about getting some fire back into your routine and you're gonna love hearing about that. Can't wait to see you in the next episode. See you then.